Welcome to another episode of Family Rovers. Today I am located at an onyx mine and we are going to do some minecrafting in real life. First time uh, I was looking to find the onyx mine. Uh, what I thought was I'm gonna look at the map and try to find a place where people have touched it. So basically they excavated places and I thought that this was actually it. This was the onyx mine. Here the sign says that uh, it's uh, forbidden to go further because they're mining the place. So basically they are using dynamite to blow away the mountain and mine. I was quite disappointed. I thought this was it. Uh, we're gonna walk towards it a bit. Uh, I'm gonna pass the sign, but yeah, I, I did it already before. I mean, nobody is gonna mind today. But yeah, if you see, if you see in the background here, uh, you'll notice that quite a bit of the mountain is missing. Uh, and I thought, yeah, that should be it. That's where the onyx is being mined. Um, I didn't know at the time I was wrong, which which I was actually. This is just a normal, normal mining site for for rock basically, for uh, roadworks. So it's nothing more than that. And this is actually not the onyx site. That said, uh, this was the mistake I did first time around. So I just wanted to show you guys, it's not always so obvious uh, where those little mines, and I mean the onyx place I'm going to show you, is very very little, uh, it's, it's not visible on the map. And it was not never used uh, commercially. It was the local people that probably had a mining operation for... You know, they, they probably tested the mine. I mean, they opened it up, they saw that there is onyx and they thought that it can be commercially used. But unfortunately, it's not, um, it's not for commercial, commercial quality. So I guess the local people of the village in Lozovic are using it to collect small, uh, I don't know, they probably sell small souvenirs made of onyx, but that's all. I mean, it was never uh, commercially viable. One thing that actually gave, gave away the onyx mine, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but it's a lift touch. With it, I was able to figure out where the mine lies. We are currently located in the center of the village Lozovic. One thing this village is also known for uh, it's the spring water it has. It is said that people come from around other villages from around the area to collect this water. Um, they say it's really good. I've drunk it before and it's actually quite refreshing. Uh, obviously uh, I was fine. I was not poisoned so at least it means that the water is somewhat drinkable. Cheers! The water is actually nice and cold and really refreshing. Before I show you how the onyx looks uh, in this mine and we dig around and try to find a couple of nice pieces I can take with me home today, um, I would like to tell you how I got into mineral hunting. Um, I mean, it has many, many names. It's uh, rock hounding, mining, um, what other names? It's uh, gem hunting. Uh, it's gotten a lot of a lot of different names. And um, let me tell you how I got into this hobby. So a few years back, while I was um, actually visiting uh, a museum, a mineral museum, uh, with my kids. Uh, I fell in love with the with the exhibit. Uh, I fell in love with the natural beauty of the minerals. And what was striking to me it uh, is that they only had exhibits that they actually dug dug out of uh, of Serbia, uh, and that was really interesting. But that was not what sparked my my interest in hunting my own uh, minerals. Um, after we finished with the actual tour of the museum, um, we went into a souvenir shop uh, inside the museum and there um, I was actually prepared to buy some, some minerals. So they were selling uh, quartz for example, uh, which, is, which is quite common, but then they had rose quartz, 
Um, and it was really bad quality. It was just like a rock, basically. Uh, nothing special. But for me, it was really exciting. And then I, I actually found out the price and I was not so happy about the price, obviously. Uh, we did end up buying, buying a couple of souvenirs. But then um, I started thinking, uh, will I be able to do this myself? And try and dig out, dig out uh, crystals? from from inside the ground um it's gonna be all minecraft stuff we're gonna mine and they were excited because obviously they love minecraft so they thought this is gonna be really really exciting and it all started like uh, like uh having some fun with the family uh the thing is uh i don't know uh, many people think that there is no beginner slack but uh actually first time i got up out in the mountain i found a nice pocket of quartz crystals and this uh, remains to the day the biggest find i had i mean i was able to pick up some other minerals uh, during the the last couple of years i also went and bought some of the minerals i have in my collection but yeah the the first time i got out there i found a crystal pocket i found quartz crystals and that remains the biggest score i had so far today we are located at a place called a little village actually called lozovic and this is the village i found one of the minerals i have in my collection and that's onyx i was searching through the internet and this place actually is really really close home it's about 20 kilometers from where i live and in the background here you can see the actual mountain yuhor where my village is based i don't think we can see it but it's in that direction uh, that's where we came from and here you can see a huge old lift they installed at this place so what I'm guessing is that they thought um, this can actually be uh, commercially viable. But as you can see from the state of this lift, uh, it never got to that stage. It's visible that they, they, dug, out, they dug out onyx from here. Um, but I think um, what happened is, so let's take this rock for example. You can see, I mean, I believe this is onyx, but there are so many holes and imperfections in the actual rock that I feel this was the main reason this never happened. Regardless though, uh, it's a great place for me to find some onyx pieces. I'm gonna show you now where we're going to dig up some pieces. And yeah, I mean, I, I this is probably the third time I come here. It's really close, so whenever I feel like uh, scoring a mineral uh, for sure, uh, then I, I visit this place. This is probably the biggest slate of onyx I, I found on this, on this mine here. And it's really cool because you walk on it. But yeah, trying to um, pull any piece of this out with just hand tools is almost impossible so what i usually do there is a lot of pieces like this one let me show you so somebody was already cutting this one and i'm just trying to find nice pieces like this that i can take home oh i thought i heard something my dad found a snake a venomous one so we need to be extremely careful that's one of the things you need to pay attention to obviously being someone that uh played minecraft quite a lot and also my kids they love playing minecraft uh, we find it really exciting when we can do it in real life so i definitely would recommend to everybody uh, that like uh, that like the game itself uh, they should absolutely try getting out in nature uh, and trying to hunt down some minerals uh, it's really addicting actually and 
quite a nice hobby to have. I mean, it's all nice and, and uh, cozy when you're at home on your computer and playing Minecraft, but I feel like going out there and trying to find things and, and walk a lot, so you're going to walk and exercise, is going to be not only uh, interesting and exciting, it's like a treasure hunt, but it's also going to be beneficial to your health. Let's get back to hunting. So this is all pieces that they were cutting out and in here you can actually find really cool ones to take home. This is an interesting piece and then there is a lot of sandwich pieces. So this one for example um, look how beautiful this one is. It's a bit chunky though, so I'll try and find something that's a bit uh, nicer and that I can display. So I'll dig around a bit uh, and after I'm finished I'll show you what I found. I found this one, which can be actually a, a nice display piece. It, al it already has a base so it can sit like this and just look at the lines. And when I, when I clean it up uh, they're gonna be much more vibrant. And yeah, look at this. It's full of onyx pieces and they're just waiting for you to find them. Let me see this one. This one has also nice lines, but I don't feel it's gonna be really useful. And it's not that good for displaying. You see down here. Oh, look at this, this block here. That actually feels really cool. The only problem is quite heavy and I don't wanna take with me back but yeah look at the different designs I mean you can find all kinds of patterns here which is really awesome and this one I actually like um, the pattern on it is not great but what I can make from this is coasters so this is thin enough and it can be a nice coaster I'm definitely gonna put this one aside and bring it with me. Let's continue looking around. Oh, look at this. Look at the beauty of this piece. I feel like it would most definitely be a nice decorative piece. Let me put that also here. Yeah, so Dad is coming closer. Whenever whenever he comes here, he wants to take a lot of this stuff with him. While I'm looking at the onyx, I actually came across this one. Yes. I've seen it before. Uh, it's uh, called serpentine. It's not jade. Uh, it's, it's serpentine and it has this nice green color. I have loads of it though, so I found it there is a place actually where you can have tons of the serpentine, so it's not interesting today. But I thought I'd show you. My dad says the little and nice poisonous snake went down there. I'm not seeing it. I do think I see snake skin though. Yeah, for sure I'm not going that way. Um, I like to not get bitten. Oh, look at this piece. I don't know. I really like the pattern of this one. Just a reminder, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Like the video, comment below. It really means a lot to us. So, while I'm driving back, um, I thought I'd give you a small, small lesson on Onyx. So, onyx primarily refers to the parallel banded variety of chalcedony and silicate material. Um, I know, really interesting stuff, I have no idea <laughs> about those, but it doesn't matter. One, one really exciting thing is that agate 
and Onyx are both varieties of layered chalcedony. So Onyx is a, I would say, a relative of agate, and I know that agate is really, really nice, uh, a really nice mineral. Unfortunately, we don't have that here. Um, the difference is um, that the difference, the main difference between agate and onyx is that agate has curved bands and onyx has parallel bands. Uh, the color of its bands range from black to almost every color. That's what I said, guys. So you can find it in almost any color. Uh, commonly, speci specimens of onyx contain bands of black and or white. Uh, onyx, as a descriptive term, has also been applied to parallel banded varieties of alabaster, marble, calcite, obsidian and opal. Um, and that's, that's also interesting uh, because to me, what, I, what I'm uh, finding here on this onyx mine looks like marble. And if somebody knows and th the things I showed you today is not onyx, uh, let me know in the comments. For all of you uh, wine lovers out there, um, Serbia is definitely worth, worth visiting if you are uh, if you are a wine lover. Uh, we have loads and loads of wineries all over the country. Country, just in my area, um, I don't know. I I think I know around ten wineries, different wineries. Uh, right now it's Easter uh, in my country and tomorrow I have a specialty for all of you food lovers. Uh, we are going to have a lamb, uh, roast lamb or on a, on a spit, I don't know how to tell it, but this is, this is traditional. Traditionally in Serbia we are mostly doing uh, pig, so uh, pig on a spit. Uh, but um, my family prefers lamb, it's a bit more healthy and we actually prefer it. So tomorrow uh, I'm gonna filming that and anyone that likes good food should definitely watch tomorrow's video.